All right, now we're ready to do the soldering and replace the capacitors on the power supply board. Um, to do this part, you'll need to have desolder wick, uh, lead-free solder, your capacitor kit. Uh, it'll help to have diagonal cutters, and then, of course, you'll need your soldering iron to do the soldering. Um, first thing we need to do is remove the old capacitors from the board. Um, that's what your desolder wick is going to be for. Um, the way you do that is you set the solder wick on one of the terminal leads of the capacitor, heat up the joint with the soldering iron, and the solder will be sucked up or wicked up into the solder wick. And then we go to the next capacitor lead and do the same thing. And then we should be able to remove the capacitor from the board. Um, two different ways you can do it. Uh, that's one way. The other way is to hold the capacitor. You heat up one of the capacitor legs, tilt the capacitor, that leg pulls through the board. You heat up the other leg, pull the capacitor through the board, and then you have the capacitor off the board, and then you can come back with your desolder wig and just clean up the hole and get it ready to put the new capacitor on. We'll do that. Both ways basically do the same, you know, accomplish the same thing. It's just whichever way you feel best to do. Um, and then as you're removing the capacitors, we'll go ahead and start in start installing the new ones. Each capacitor location on the board is marked with an ID number. Um, it's written in small writing on the board and on our website. Uh, there is part locations for each of the capacitors. If you forget which capacitor goes into which location. Um, and then on the capacitors, on the, the markings on the board, one side will be shaded. Here we have a black line down one side or on these capacitors, the upright capacitors, you notice one side has little lines on it showing half of the circle being shaded. Um, that's the negative side of the capacitor. If you look on the capacitor itself, one side will have a gray stripe with little negative symbols. That's the negative side. Um, also, the leads on the capacitors, one is a long lead, one is a short lead. The short lead is, again, the negative terminal, so when you're inserting it in, make sure you put in the, or the correct polarity. So you're going to want to have the negative to the negative. And we just insert those into the board, flip the board over, and just separate the terminal legs so that the capacitor stays on the board. And then we'll go to the next one. We'll replace all the capacitors, and then we will do the soldering on the board. Again, we'll just pry those legs off. And we're just going to go ahead and remove the rest of the capacitors here. It's really amazing how many uh, LCD monitors die because of failures of capacitors on the power supply boards. Um, it's probably 90% of the failures on monitors can be, be traced back to the power supply boards. In our shop, when we're doing the repairs here, we actually use professional desolder equipment. Um, but we're doing these videos showing you how easy it is uh, to do the monitor repairs yourself with standard equipment, so that you don't have to go out and pay, you know, 
several hundred dollars to get the desoldering stations and board rework tools that we have here. So again, like I say, this is actually doing it with the, the tools that you would have readily available yourself. last capacitor out. Now we'll just insert the new ones and then get on with our soldering. You need to make sure, so saying about the polarity of the capacitors, um, if you insert them wrong when you apply power, the capacitors will short out and have the potential to uh, make a lot of noise not really going to hurt you, but when they pop, they do make you know a good bit of noise, about like a firecracker, and it's kind of startling if you insert them wrong. So be sure you have the polarity correct when you're inserting them on the board. All right, now we have them all inserted. Now we take our soldering iron and our lead-free solder. Basically, put the soldering iron on the terminal allow it to heat for just a moment and then apply just a small amount of solder. You do want to make sure that the solder connection is bright and shiny. Um, if it has a dull color to it, that's what's called a cold solder joint and you'll need to heat it back up and remelt the solder uh, to make sure that you have a good electrical connection. After we get them all soldered in, then we'll go back and use our little diagonal cutters and cut the capa uh, capacitor leads off. Alright, now we have them soldered. Now we just use our diagonal cutters and cut those leads off down flush with the bottom of the board. And there we have a fully repaired power supply board. Uh, we'll take it back over to the monitor now and install it and see how good a repair job we did on it.